We're going to do some more work on factorising the difference of two squares. These are going to be harder than what we've done previously. So if you haven't mastered what we were working on previously, really I'd suggest you do those first before you continue on to these. If we're asked to factorise something like this, the very first thing you always need to do when you're checking for factorising is to see if there is a common factor that you can take out. So remember, that's what we started with in factorising, just taking out a common factor. So if we have a look over here, is there something that can divide into 3 and also into 12? Well, yes, there is. 3 can. And then, is there something that can divide into x and x? Well, yes, x can. And so what are we left with? We're then left with y squared. And from the 12x, we are left with minus 4. And now we have got a difference of two squares. And so we just factorize. So here's the important idea. We must always look for a common factor first. We could also be faced with a monster like this one. First check for common factors, but there aren't any here, right? You've got A's and B's in the first one and C in the second, and you've got a 25 and a 9. They don't have a common factor. So what we hopefully can see is that we do have the pattern of a difference of two squares here. And all we need to do is go back to what we were doing right at the start, which is recognizing what the square root of each of these things are. So let's have a look at 25a squared b to the 6. So we're asking ourselves what multiplied by itself will give us 25a to b6. Well, we know it has to be 5 multiplied by 5 to get us to 25 and a multiplied by a to get us to a squared. For b to the 6, we want to end up with 6 b's multiplied together. So in each of these, we need 3 b's multiplied together. So we get 5 a b cubed here. And then for this other one, we're asking what multiplied by itself will get us to 9 c to the 16. Well, we know that 3 times 3 gets us to 9, um, so that is no problem. Then what power do we need to put with the c's? Well, we want to end up with 16 c's multiplied together, so we need 8 c's here and another 8 c's multiplied together there to get us to that. And so here is our nicely factorized form. Okay, try this one for yourself. Factorize x to the 4 minus 16. Pause the video and try it now. Okay, so you should have recognized it as a difference of two squares. So you're going to have that pattern. And to get to x to the 4, you're going to have to have x squared times x squared. And for 16, you're going to have to have a 4. But did you recognize that this is still a difference of two squares? And so, in fact, we can continue with our factorizing. We can't do anything with the x squared plus 4, but we can go on here to say this is x minus 2x plus 2. 